<clears throat> ah. Um, may have to change stream settings. Yay. Uh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um. I need. Yep, this is a drawing stream. Drawing stream, okay. Bink. Um, now I gotta, now I gotta go to Google and tweet out that I'm on stream. So that's amusing. Alrighty. So let's go to Twitter. go to Twitter, my profile. And reply. I'm live. God damn it. <laughs> um, channel. Um, okay. Copy. Paste. I have tweeted out. Okay. I'm live. So. <laughs> So something I'll bring up is that I've been I've been wanting to make this piece ever since ever since my ever since I was able to see this image or help create this image. But basically, um I collect Pokemon figures. And not like as a serious hobby, I just like having them around. But but also I enjoy, I also enjoy having a, a time drawing with, like, using them as references and all that. So, here I am transitioning to make a new phone screen for myself. So yeah, let's get started on this. I already have the, I already have the... Bait like the sketch done, sorta. But now it's time to work on line art. Which, yeah, so that's gonna be amusing. Um, okay, I'm on the line tool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. God damn it. Uh, background noise. Welcome to the stream! I also need to retool all this. That's not the right one. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Um, alrighty. Um, so I, I want to start, I should actually should probably start on the back background. So I'm going to have to zoom out. I'm going to have to take a shape and to make things simpler on me. I'm going to make a rectangle and make the brush size a little thicker and rotate it. And move it down. Not a perfect replica of what I had before, but oh well. Actually, I'll I'll actually have to make the individual rungs of this barricade. So I'm going to do that by doing more rectangles. So 
So let's do, let's make it six, not 60. Um, gonna turn the, whoops, that's too small. Turn that brush size down. This is by 34, oh, whoops. Thirty-four. You guys can't see it, but I can see that the length is thirty-four pixels, pixels tall, or the the height, whatever. I can't speak. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this. And then select area. Not like that. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little more to get this right. Control X. Control X. Control X. Okay. So now I can. Hmm. Pink, okay. Control C, Control V. Okay. Now time to select a similar sized area so I can re so I can repeat this effect. Control C, Control V. may look a little funky, but this is not the main part of the drawing, so it can be afford to look a little funky as far as I'm concerned. So, here we go. Control C, Control V. <laughs> Okay. Was it just getting progressively more progressively more liney as I go on? Oh well. Control C B. Adding another rung this way for clarity's sake. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I may actually want to reconsider. Okay. So I'll select this instead. No. Um. God damn it, I'll have to probably, probably have to zoom in again. Oh well. Dum dee doo. Okay. <laughs> oh well. I have to re zoom in. Do do do. Do do. Hmm. 
I have a soda for everyone who's concerned. Um, oh, whoops. Somebody. Do do do. Wait, whoops. That don't look right. Whoops. Control Z. Okay, so if I zoom out now, yes, it looks just fine. Okay. Pink. Except for that. That can go. Um. God damn it. <laughs> um. God damn it. Okay. Do to do. Okay. Does that look better? Yes. Okay. So. Gonna make that very apparent that it's a barricade by adding light gray. Okay. So out a little bit. Okay. This may look a little funky for now, but it will look different once I get all that other shisa in order. Okay. I'm also gonna make this sketch layer transparent slightly so it's easier to tell what I'm doing. So now I want to make a stage layer, <laughs> or the layer for the stage to happen. And that means that I will be making, starting with a circle of all things, make it a little thicker. Do do do. Technically it's noble, but we don't we don't discriminate. So boom. Then I will copy this. Control C V. 
do do do. Okay. So we got a stage. Now we just gotta add the lights for the stage. Ah, actually, I just had a big thought. Well, hmm. whatever. Okay. You can probably hear all the clicking that just happened. <laughs> oh well. So. Now I gotta figure out how to make these lights work, which, once again, pretty self explanatory. I'm gonna use the ellipse tool. But also turn down their the line, line density. Well, I'll turn it up a bit and make an inner circle that's not, wait a minute, god damn it, odd numbers, okay, so this is 530 by 180, so I'm going to make another circle that's Get 430 by 80. Well, let's keep it at 110. Okay. So that looks okay. Sort of. That looks okay. Cool. So I'm going to lasso select this. Control C. And then I'm going to rotate this to line up with the sketch a bit, sort of. Rotate at the right angle, control V. <laughs> okay. So we got a light, we got our two lights that I need to sync up a little, a smidge better. And then I'm going to actually take a moment to mess with the sketch layer itself so I can relocate the Pokemon that are appearing on the stage. I'll probably get to the reasoning for for why these three Pokemon a bit later. Besides, obviously, what I said in the beginning, which you'll probably be able to view on YouTube sooner or later. And then... Okay. Moving the Pokemon so a little further back on the stage. That works. Okay. So now, wait. Oh, that's the whoopsie. Um, okay. So I'm gonna color the stage. Like, make maybe not right now. Right now, actually. Okay. Adding another layer. I'm also going to rename the sketch layer the sketch layer. While I'm thinking about it. Okay. Sketch. St 
stage. Barricade. Okay. And then up here will be perf crowded performers. Okay. I'm going to quickly save as well. Just to make sure I don't lose it. <laughs> However, that may happen. So, okay. So the crowd is easy part. I'm I'm going to just hand draw it because this doesn't really need to be a specific shape or specific shape that is. And then add some de I'll add some details later. But um, let's take dark gray. Wait a minute. Whoops. Yeah, that works. Okay. Maybe just a smidge more dark gray. Okay. And also a smidge more thickness. So. Boom. 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 I'm using the fill tool for simplicity's sake, even though you don't always have to do that. <laughs> Thank th thankfully. Okay. So now I can switch to black, black. And then start with drawing these little guys. I, I could probably just grab the inspirations for this piece it, itself and then draw from there. But I'm going to be a little funky and try to do it freehand. Not that that's a, a, always advised. So... I haven't even fully decided like what what sort of feel I want these performers to have besides just their trio of performers who do their who do the job really well. So that's amusing. So oh whoops that is too thick. I'm going to turn it down a notch. Like this is obvious. Like I also have the every everything's labeled except for the Jigglypuff. Um, I think that's pretty simple to discuss, like, I did, I was more specific with the shape of Jigglypuff than anything else, so, yeah, <laughs> um, wait, I got that other ear line wrong, okay, and now time to correct the, make the second ear line, so, here I go. I will leave, I should probably make that swirl work. So, I should do swirls in a couple parts so they don't end up looking too, too weird. So, here I go. Boom. You got a Jigglypuff swirl. Maybe that's too long, so I'll shorten it a bit. <laughs> hmm. Then I'll also want to add the circle bits. The more round bits. So here I go. Bink. Bink. You got this. <laughs> oh, hey, Sus. Okay. So now I 
can add the other ear and try to get it right. Okay. I'm probably gonna try to put like a star over at least one of this one of the one of this Jigglypuff's eyes. So it has that little glam rock sort of feel. Not that I not that I'm too understanding of the exact notion, but oh well. I guess I just admitted my biases there. Oh well. Do 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 here we go, go, go. <laughs> feel free to chat in stream chat if you all feel like. <laughs> I'm down for answering questions, whatever they might be. So, you know. Because right now I'm just like on autopilot drawing for the most part. So I'm going to make a little round tip right here. Do, do, do. Also, side note. Um, <laughs> a while, like not too long ago, um, I started referring to larger than average flies as super flies. And what ended up happening was that that sparked a memory from my dad of all people who said, hey, I remember this one animation that's called Superfly. You should watch it. And then we just watch it together at the, at the kitchen table and we're like, well, that was interesting. So that's amusing. But yeah, um, I I'm very close to my dad, but yeah. Um... Okay, that does not look right. Okay. Wait, no. Um, do adding this little line so it doesn't look too strange. And adding another line to add some bulk. I'll make this look natural in a moment. Sort of. Whatever. <laughs> um... <laughs> so now time to add the microphone I could do this on a different layer and make things simple but make things simpler on me but to be a perfectionist I'm not, or just to for the fun of it I'm going to put this microphone on the same layer because there's going to be another part of a pseudo hand over it, really. So. Adding ellipse to make this work. Alrighty. And then doop. And doop. That's a microphone, albeit not an amazing one. Or not an amazingly. Not an amazingly detailed one, but still one nonetheless. Um, so. Erasing that line. And retouching up the places that I erased while making that line. Or erasing the line, rather. Also adding black to the ears. So, whoops, don't want to do that. Okay. Also touching up here and here. Okay. Now I just need to add little feet. So, just do this sort of thing. Do, do, do. 
That doesn't look right. God damn it. Okay. 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 So we got that little foot in. So now I just need to do the same for this foot. <laughs> Taking another swig of my soda. Excuse me. That's too long. So I'm gonna get a little shorter. And then adding a little line right there. Okay, looks a little funky. Not gonna lie. Oh well. So we've got our little Jigglypuff. So now um, I'm going to save once again. Save. Okay, I'm going to add another, well, hmm. Going to add, an, like, I'm going to edit this layer. Okay. Save once more. Okay. So now, um, I can start on, I can start on Glaceon and Jigglypuff, not Jigglypuff, <laughs> Glaceon and Leafeon, excuse me. Um, so let's begin by making like a tiniest little circle. Also gonna make this stage invisible for this port port or part so it's easier to deal with. Ugh. I think we get a little shorter. Boom. Stage can go invisible for all I care right now. So whoops, that's not the right tool. Um, okay. Okay, that does not look right, so. I'm gonna add, an, add another uh, two lines for the side of the face, so it's easier to tell that there's more of a 3D shape than just a circle for this Glaceon. And I also may want to grab my references real quick. So. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So now if I'm getting a good look at Glaceon's face. Yes, I have an actual figurine of Glaceon sitting on my desk right now alongside the other two. For convenience's sake. 
but oh well. Okay. So. Okay, so line tool still works. Alrighty. So I'm going to add. Make, I'm going to make this a smidge more rounded than it otherwise would be. So. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. So now I can add the appropriate lines, which are going here. go here and here all righty okay so now you do for the same for the other side Okay, I may actually want to do do the lower line first. So here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's decent as far as I'm concerned. So now I'm just gonna erase this line for the time being. And then Then add the ears, which first I'm going to slightly augment by using the this tool, and then boom, boom, okay. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now I just need to do that for the other ear, which is pretty simple as well. Oh, that looks a little strange. Okay. A little wider. Make that point go a little arm outward. Boom. Okay. 
that's going to look up here. Look up the places where the magic wand left left the gaps. Now it's time to actually readjust these slightly. And then adjust these slightly. Erase the erase what I need to. And then bulk up the areas where I accidentally erased. Okay. Need to adjust that back down to three. Do do do. Alrighty. So now I can add this back. And then zoom in a slight bit more. And if I have my measurements, maybe not measurements, or mental me measurements correct, the little thingamadoodles, wait, whoops, will go down there. Thingamadoodles, wow, good job. Um, okay. Okay. So we got one of those things down, and before I draw the other, I'm going to add the body because that's, you know, important. So here I go. Alrighty. I'm going to move that slightly out so the body's a little more bulky. Slightly or bulky. Also move that point a little ways up. And then boink. Add some curve to this. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay. So now time to add the other line for the back of the leg. <laughs> okay. All righty. No, that does not look right. Okay. Okay. So, this line, this light curve. That's not a line that I want. So, here I go again, making the paw part of this glacion. Maybe a little higher up to give it more dimension. Okay. Okay. Looks a little wonky. Oh well. Ah, wrong tool. Alrighty, so I may also want to erase part of this, erase part of this, and then select this little area. Mm -hmm. 
do do do. Mm -hmm. So bulk up the body slightly. Yep, that's looking better. Okay. And then add this area to the area. So add a new line to the area slightly messed up. Okay. <clears throat> ah, okay. So now I can worry about the back legs, which are a slightly different shape from the front legs, so have to accommodate for that. So, boom, ba doom, ba doom. Well, okay, actually, it may be better to start with a circle. I'm going to do a s sketch. Whoops, that's a line. I'm going to add a circle to get the shape of the thing right. So, the shape of the, the upper hindquarters right. Okay, so may look a little funky now, as I said repeatedly, but um, so now I'm going to, whoops, that's a circle, um, okay. Boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then add a lower shape for the paw. Also, oh, jeez. Okay. I want to try this first and then. Okay. This is harder than anticipated. <laughs> ah, jeez. That's my phone. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add this shape. Make it a little more rounded. And then, boom. Boom. That may be too thin. I'll, I'll, I'll beef it up. Beef it up a small amount. Then, race. Going to re hand draw that area or cursor draw this area god damn it shut up phone okay <laughs> excuse me um. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay Okay, I can live with that. Just need to erase again. Let's 
slightly erase. Oh boy. Okay. And we make the brush size. Okay. Ah. Okay. That will just be what I have to live with. Got it. Okay. So now I can add this. Then add another line. Okay. Maybe I'll just make this two lines to, for simplicity's sake. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Now I have to deal with um, the tail, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm also going to save once again, because you got like basically half of the Glaceon done. And in tune with the line that I already made, um, ah, if I can zoom out, just fine. Um, let's add that and that. Whoops. Maybe I should start with the upper line first, actually. So, make that bend with the line that's already there. And then add that second line. Okay, boom, boom. I will make Chickly Puff not visible to make this easy on me. Oh, whoops, wrong layer. Okay. Boom. Then adding this line. Whoops, and not that line. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now if I add back Jigglypuff, sure, it looks a little funky, but you can tell that an attempt was made <laughs> with the Glaceon. Uh, okay. So now, I want to erase this line. Erase this line, because it's literally not, need, doesn't need to be there. Whoops. Alrighty. Do, do, do. Then, Add, I'm gonna zoom out a bit and add this line. Okay, then boom and boom. Okay. 
And then now I just have to add the right not the right spots but the diamonds on the back of Glaceon which will be another thing I can go over and erase later Okay. And then now I gotta add details to the little paws, toe beans, as they're collectively called by the internet. Maybe not collectively, but more humorously called by the internet. Add little toe beans. Whoops. Didn't mean to add that line. Boom. Also going to start by finishing off the details for the ends of the legs. Boom. Okay. So, so now it's time to add these toe beans. And yet more. Okay. Add that point. <laughs> okay. So we've got the basic line art for Glaceon done, and most details. So I'm going to add the face detail, facial details now. So going to first start by adding a one closed eye because I can, and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll just leave it without for now. Okay. Oh, crap. I almost forgot about the last detail on Glaceon. Little tips of the ears. Or tips of the dangly bits. Dang doodles. Whatever. Okay, perfect. Also a tongue for good measure. Boom. Okay. Boom. So Glaceon is done. Gonna say it again. So now it's time for Leafeon, which is thankfully, which they are fa thankfully out most of the way out of 
out of, Gl out of both Glaceon and Jigglypuff, so that's not going to be as hard to get right. Ugh. Okay. So, an ellipse. Okay. Whoops, that's not the right tool. Okay. I'm gonna add the I'm gonna add the facial details right now because I can. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's, start, it's, start, it's starting to look a little, my eyes are starting to look a little bit like My Little Pony, but oh well. Um, so now... I've got to worry about um, the ears and the shape of the head. I'm just going to make this simple on me and start with the slight shape of the back of the head. Doop. Do doop. <laughs> hmm. Chat is still rather quiet. Oh well. Not a big deal. I'm doing this for me after all. In terms of amusement. It's not necessarily not necessarily that people show up. So <laughs> going to cut that a little short. Wait no, that's too big of a line. Okay. Adding the basic head shape. Okay. Erasing the point where those interact, those lines interact, and erasing this too. Okay, so this is going really well. I can probably add the stage back, yeah. Okay, add the stage back, boom. Okay, Leafeon's ears are a little more fun to work with. Knuckle pop for those of you who are curious. Um, Le Leafeon's ears are more, like sure, I represented them by straight lines, but they're more curved than most other evolution ears. So I'm going to accommodate for that by doing this. Maybe that's too long. Do like this. Okay. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so now I want to add this before I forget. I'm not sure if you can guys if you all can hear the dog drinking in the background, but oh well. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So we got that going on, so I can start erasing these lines at least. Because we got the central head figured out. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to zoom in. the inner lines for the ears which are again are slightly curved oh whoops okay so very slightly curved but oh well And to match the curvature of the ear, I will do that. I will make this line this way. Okay. Now I can add the little nicks in the ears, which I can erase, erase for in a bit. Make it a little uneven, so it's a little more interesting. And then race, boop a doo. <laughs> okay, so that ear is somewhat done. Now I can add some nicks to this ear. Now to clean up the areas I just messed up. Okay. And then I'm going to add some hand-drawn lines for the various zones of the ear. So, ba -doom, ba -doom. Okay. Boom. Okay, head is done. Going to save again.
I think my plan for the rest of the stream is to get done with Leafeon's body, and then I'm going to stop and then save and then do an do another stream at a later date for maybe tomorrow even for for the coloring phase, C coloring and special effects phase rather. So. <laughs> Okay, so we get that. We also get this. Going to scoot that out a little bit more. So, this Leafeon is a little more chunky. Similar to what I did for Great Glaceon. Glaceon has, or not Glaceon, uh, Leafeon has a similar thing with their legs going on with, that has, that Glaceon also has, but with different colors and stuff like that, so let's try to achieve that, achieve that look. Okay. Mm-hmm. I also have to add the little little earthy paw prints. I'll add the Tobians right now so I don't have to later, actually. Since this is this leg is at an angle, I'm going to bend it slightly. <laughs> oh hey! Someone new is here. What's up? <laughs> okay. For the person who just joined, um, I'm making a new phone background that's po got Pokemon on it, and that's what I'm doing. So here I am doing exactly that, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um. So I'm going to add that little line for now. I may actually want to adjust this slightly so it's a little more thick. Not thick with two C's, just regular thick. I'm sure I may not be doing being style accurate or whatever, but Hey, I'm having fun, but who cares <laughs> if I'm style ac accurate? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Oh, I also have to add this topian. Okay. Okay, so I can add the fishing gushers to the front legs in a moment, but for now, I'm going to boom, boom, ah, not that, boom. boom, okay. Making a little stable portion for the little. You may actually have to make Jigglypuff not as visible, or not visible for now. So I'll make that happen, and then, boom. Okay, one leg complete, or one a third leg complete. Excuse me. Um, let's 
So we got that, and then we got not that long. Boop. Ba doop. Do do. Okay. Then I will add the larger part of the leg here if I can get the fucking shape right. Um, okay. Alrighty. Cool. So, adding toe beans before I forget. <laughs> Alrighty. So now it's time to mess with the tail, which is going to be interesting. So I'm going to do this and controls zoom out a bit. I'm going to make this tail a little more broad and then I'm going to do this. add to that broad shape well I guess it comes to a point so let's do that then add this not a perfectly straight line like this adding that detail and then ba-doom ba-doom Okay, so we got the basic shape of the tail in line. So now, um, I'm going to add some little nicks to it, like the ears, so we have a similar effect to the ears. I may also have to get rid of the stage layer so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we got the tail. That's looking all right. Now I'm going to erase a little leet. Erase so there's actual divots in this leaf. Would it be divots for a leaf? I, I wouldn't know. Oh well. All I know is that they're like little things that are cut out of the leaf. So, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to erase this little divot. Alrighty. Boom. And then I'm going to, now it's time to add the little extra detail, so, whoops, okay, cool, wait, that's way too high up on the body, or on the tail, excuse me, so I'm going to add like this. If I can get it right. Okay. Yeah. That looks neat. So I'm going to turn on the crowd. That again. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to add the little leaf details on the all the lower legs. Ugh. Oh, well. Okay. So. Do, do, do. I probably don't have to add it for the back left leg because that's out of view anyway. So I'm just going to add them to the visible legs. That's not right. Okay. Okay. Looks a little bit funky. Oh well. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll add that for here too. Not with that line tool, with the other line tool. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there's also don't want to forget that bit too. There's a little tuft of leaves here too. We'll add the larger th the smaller thing and the larger thing. And then Whoops, that's not right. Da da da. Do, 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 do. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So if I zoom out, we've got all the main line art finished. So I'm going to save. <laughs> I'm going to save for one thing. And then then I'm going to switch back to this screen. And um yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's a stream everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and all that jazz. I'll have a great day myself. See you later. See you around.